And a look behind the curtain here. Final preparations for the challenge ahead. Hoping to come out of the gates strong. Welcome everyone, let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along courtside with Brent Perry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge on our sideline. Hey Dave. Well, thanks very much guys. Now, it's no secret at the end of quarters, players will wait until just after the buzzer sounds to fire up heaves so they won't hurt their field goal percentage. To encourage a nothing to lose approach on these plays, Many say it's past time that the league only counts the makes in those situations. Kevin, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, it is. Do it. Thanks, T.A. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. We've got Shea Gilgis-Alexander. He's out there with Josh Giddy. Holmgren is out there with Jang. And it's Pokushevsky in at the four-man position. And for New York, the forward spots will be Barrett and Randall. Jalen Brunson out there with Rain Man, and it's Robinson in at the five, roaming the paint. And it's been a rough stretch for the New York Knicks, a team that has only had a handful of playoff appearances in the last 20 years. And so off the tip, it's New York. Randall passes to Barrett. Randall surveying the D. And the foul called on Josh Giddy. That's his first foul. Uh, kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. Here's Barry. Moves back up. Sent away. Fast break. Here they come. Pass to Pokrasevsky. They get it again, and the call on the shot sends him to the line. Part of his game that he's still working on, Giddy growing at the line. The Knicks are trying to get back to being competitive GA, but it has been difficult, hasn't it? They haven't been able to attract top-level talent for quite some time, which is surprising when you consider this big market and, and the status this franchise has within the city. This team has credited Giddy's background for shaping him as a player. You know, he grew up in a house dominated by basketball. Both his parents played professionally in Australia. And that goes a long way toward developing your basketball IQ. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Shaylin Brunson missing his last shot. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. It'll be a jump ball. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. And so it's New York with it. Man, he's had three good looks at the basket and nothing to show for it. It's blocked. Already set the summer league record for blocks in his first game. Holmgren, one of the best young shot blockers in the league. Here's Pakusevsky. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. Holmgren, he gets that one. Holmgren. Well, recognizing the size mismatch and then turns it into an easy basket there. They've got to do a better job with defensive help. Olsen passes to Barrett. Randall with a screen for Barrett. And the Knicks miss again. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. Now, here's Holmgren. Tight defense on him. Down to five on the shot clock. And he makes that one. Holmgren's got his second bucket of the game to go. I'm encouraged watching Holmgren finish through contact because it's something he's going to have to do consistently. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And continuing to press their advantage, they're not taking their foot off the gas. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets, an exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander in the game against Toronto. Very impressive. They set the pick. Passes it to Pakusevsky. It's good from long range. Poku with no hesitation. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for New York. They trail by seven. He dishes it to Barrett. Pass to Rain Man. Oh. 
out to Barrett. And the three off target. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Holmgren gets the bucket. Oh, great ball movement there. New York's gone 0 of 2 from DP. Giddy against Brunson. Boom, he jams it straight down. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, have you settled for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? And Greg Anthony for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Part of a growing trend in this NBA, giving his team length in the backcourt. He has 6'6 six, six with a 6'11 wingspan. He can see over the top of the defense. He helps you on the glass, and he can switch onto front court players defensively. That's what teams are looking for nowadays. I mean, OKC's draft pick haul in the Paul George trade was massive. But the best part of that deal is getting SGA. SGA has been the face of the franchise the past couple seasons, and his game just continues to grow. He signed all the way through 2027. Is he the first building block, or is he going to develop into a player that people covet? And they're going to try to pluck away. We'll see. Well, there's no doubt that R.J. Barrett is a hard-working player and looking for chances to stay and get involved. He does a lot for his team out there on the floor. Barrett's attitude, Brent, has helped him find early success in this league. And R.J., only the eighth player to record 2,000 points, 500 rebounds, and 300 assists, all by the tender age of 21. You almost forget how young he is, but... He has made an impact here. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Now here's Randall. No points in the game yet for him. And the pass to Olsen. Krills it from outside. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Right block shot, that's tipped. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Pass to Randall. Now here's Brunson. Here's Robinson, and Robinson throws it down hard. Mitchell Robinson, one of those guys who you could be blocking out, but it's just not enough with that length. Here's Gilgis Alexander. A shot, no good. So New York will take it the other way. This is it to Brunson. Randall outside. Here's Rain Man, Kitty defending. And out of bounds is the Thunder game possession. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Taking a look at New York, so far they've got the fourth best record in the conference. Well, I think for New York, they've fulfilled a lot of the promise they showed coming into the season. But they just haven't taken that next leap forward. So many thought they might. They still had enough players take positive steps forward to call this season a success. Maybe they're not at the top of the standings where they hoped they'd be, but they're in really good position in terms of the playoff picture. So New York ends up going with the new group, and a new group getting ready for Oklahoma City. Robinson Earls checked in for Holmgren. Baisley comes in for Pokushevsky. Kenrich Williams. He's checked in for Jang, and it's Williams in for Gilgis Alexander. Oh, here's Giddy. Fournier pulls it down. Is a three off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Yeah, there's a reason why Fournier takes a ton of threes. He's pretty good at it. Giddy against Rose. Giddy kicks to Williams on the wing. Williams. There's the screen. No good off the back of the rim. Well, it was the Oklahoma City Thunder winning their last game against Toronto. Well, in that one, they just had everything working offensively. It's a lot of fun when you get into that kind of a groove. Yeah, I love watching that game and, in particular, their demeanor in their destruction in that game. Oh, man, you know he'd love to have that one over. 
throws against Giddy. Pass to Robinson Earl. Back to Giddy. Oklahoma City needs to get off the shot. It's funny how much the defense has to focus more on not leaving their man when Giddy has the ball. Knicks trail by five. Outside Rose. Back to Fournier. And Greg, we're still very early in the season. What are these teams right now doing to maintain success through the year? Well, this is the time for coaches to experiment with lineup combinations. And for the players, it's important they learn each other's tendencies and, and try and work on building chemistry. One thirty-seven left here in the first quarter. Could be top ten easiest assists the Fournier's had. Oklahoma City has gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. Going forward, the Thunder have a ton of draft capital for them to put a lot of first-round picks either to play for themselves or in play to make some significant trades. Lots of flexibility there. On the wing, Williams, and stolen by Fournier. Rose in the post, Giddy defending. Back to Rose. The pass to Reddish. And no good, had a chance to take the lead there. And Oklahoma City with all those picks, Brent, should be interesting to see how they use them. Yeah, and that process has already started in the 22 draft. They used some of that capital to line up some players they have on their current roster. So it's really interesting at some point what it is that the front office does to say, this is our team, and this is who we're moving forward with. Hartenstein passes to Rhodes. The feed to Toppin. Just five to shoot. Hartenstein can't get it to go. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Offensive rebound. And here's Fournier. He brings it up for the Knicks. Four-point game. Hartenstein passes to Rose. Shoots from the elbow. No good on that one. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Thunder out in front, up by four. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. second quarter of action is where we're at right now and some stats here guys the scoring breakdown for the Thunder we've got a bunch of this game yet to be played but they're shooting it well from the three-point line that's got to be a welcome sight well not only that but you love how unselfish they've been to start this game that's going to get all the guys in a great flow and feeling good so moving that ball around and scoring off assists it's a nice way to play the pairing up front, Toppin and Randall. Rain Man is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Barrett in at the three, the small forward. They're the group New York will start the second. One. And it's Rain Man missing. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. Coaches love Gilgis Alexander and the way that he's working. He's refusing to give in against that kind of airtight defense. The Knicks making a switch here. Robinson's checked in. A unique type of player. Chet with great length and skill, but the keys to reaching his potential will be durability and improving his strength. And Barrett gets it to go. RJ right there moving without the basketball and that helps him to get to an open spot on the floor. That creates the rhythm. Pass to Baisley. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Hey, Greg Holmgren is thin, but as we both know, he's very tough. 
He's aggressive and willing to take contact at both ends. He's also strong mentally. Can't wait to see what the future holds for this young man. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Okrzewski's checked in. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line. And when he's on, he can be lights out. To the paint. It's tipped. Here's Olsen. And he wills that one in. Sending right through off the back guy. This takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Bill just Alexander passes to Holmgren. And attacking the rim. Holmgren making excellent use of that height inside. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Thanks a lot, guys. Josh Giddy has been attracting admirers, including LeBron James. The King said he's really, really good. He has a great pace about the game, great vision. Josh is one of those kids who can definitely see the game a lot quicker than most guys out on the floor. And he's showing it. Just been playing beautiful basketball. Kevin, that's high praise. It is both amazing passers. David, thank you. The Thunder leading by eight. Inside, here's Holmgren. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Brent is an NBA player. There's tremendous competition, but also shared respect, and some say a brotherhood. How does that all balance out? I think, Kevin, there's a clear line of delineation of what you're talking about once playoff time hits the NBA. I mean, during the regular season, you see a lot of guys spending some time with one another but come playoff time I'd be hard pressed to find that kind of interaction because guys know what's on the line they know what's at stake and competition always reigns supreme and so it's Williams who brings it up for Oklahoma City it's off to Boston for him after this game as they take on the Celtics that'll be the second on the road in the midst of this long four game road stand. Well, the seven foot four wingspan of Robinson going to work on that shot swatted away. Now, here's Barrett. After the miss from Shea Gilgis Alexander. It's tipped. Barrett against Chang. Down low. Here's Holmgren. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. It, it really turned it around here in the second quarter after shooting less than 40% from the field in the first. Handle a screen on Chang. There. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, inside, Barrett fighting twice as hard working through that contact and trying to get a shot off. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And he's shooting his free throws to the tune of 75% this season. Fairly standard number. And so Barrett nails both of them. Oklahoma City had one of the all-time NBA trios, didn't they? Brent, Durant, and Harden, and Westbrook, three future MVPs. I mean, I don't know that we'll ever see that again. Yeah, incredible, Kevin. Going to that finals in 2012. Obviously really young and green at that time. Unfortunately, Harden was traded away that summer. They took a hard line stance, and uh, he was off to Houston. And just think back. Would they have won titles together, and how many? Williams, he's checked in for Kenrich Williams. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. In that 2018 draft, you think about those names. Doncic, Young, Aiton. Jaron Jackson Jr. and Shea Gilgis Alexander. Boy, that's a lot to begin with. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out rebound. Pass to Williams from past the arc, trains it from beyond the arc. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. A different look for New York. Hartenstein comes in for Robinson. And Fournier subbed in for Jalen Brunson. And then for Oklahoma City, Jeremiah Robinson-Earl comes in for Holmgren. 
And Josh Giddies subbed in for Paul Kuchef. The shot's good. Bill's got seven points here in this quarter. Well, Picasso couldn't have drawn that up any better. Perfect execution off the inbounds. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And that'll be Oklahoma City as it goes out of bounds. Thunder retained possession. So for the Knicks, Toppin, he's jacked in for Julius Randle. And it's Reddish in for R.J. Barrett. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 15. Just five on the clock. The pass to Robinson Earl. Oklahoma City gets a new shot clock. Williams gets the bucket. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. It's Gilgis Alexander with the drive. He gets it in there. Gilgis Alexander's got 17. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Here's Fournier shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. An impressive feat last year. Fournier set the record for most threes in a season by an Knicks player. And that number surpassed the great John Starks mark. Fournier always brings great shooting wherever it is that he plays, and especially from the three-point line. And New York making a change here. Rose is checked in. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Baisley's checked in. Evan Fournier has proven he's someone that you can put on the floor and expect results. So whatever the team needs, especially on the offensive end, he's ready to give his all. Now here's Rose. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Hartenstein passes to Fournier. On its way from Rose for two. And again, it's the Knicks missing. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. To the inside. It's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it in bounds that time. Here we are in November. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. You take a look at the Thunder. I know they would have liked a better start, but they're 10th in the conference right now. And when I look at Oklahoma City, they've had an interesting season for sure. They're competitive. They're feisty. But they're not a team that's going to dominate for long stretches. I just think if you're on the other side, how much are you looking at that team and saying, we're scared of them? So not a lot of fear from the opposition and what they're bringing to the table. They're good. They compete. But do they have that extra gear? I'm not sure. Now, Gilgis Alexander following the miss by Evan Fournier from deep. Robinson Earl, no good. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Rose passes to Hartenstein. Kicks it to Fournier. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Well, he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. Gilgis Alexander. Basket counts. Gilgis Alexander's got 19 points. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Fournier for three. Gilgis Alexander pulls it in. Oklahoma City leading by 18. Over Rose. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. And Toppin throws it down. And for a big guy, Obi is quick off the floor. Outside Williams. 31. There's a screen. Shoots over Fournier. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. From downtown. That doesn't go either for Gilgis Alexander. And it's Rose with the ball for the New York Knicks. They trail by 16. 41 seconds left here in the second. The shot's good from quickly. 
Love it when Rose looks to share the ball, especially when his teammates are open like that. Oklahoma City's gone one and three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. He's got 21. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. There's 14 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's Rose. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And you love to see Rose aggressively looking to score on the inside. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Alongside Coach Thibodeau, Tib, some stuff to clean up. What will the points of emphasis be going into the second half? better defense. You know, we keep allowing them to get second shots, defensive transition, not challenging their shots properly, so if we don't play defense, we can't win. And we'll see if your guys can stick to the script better in the second half, Coach. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David, and we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Hey folks, thanks for joining us. It would be an understatement to say it's been a great half for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Well, they've got their rebounding to thanks for this lead. Uh, all first half, they were fighting for the boards. Those extra possessions make a big difference. Man, if they could keep that going on the second half, man, they'll be in good place. Okay, time to discuss the first half of this one. Specifically, which guys are leading the charge for their teams? Uh-oh, there's a duel at the point guard position, really testing each other's ability to run things. Cerebral battle. You see, in basketball, Ernie, point guard is like chess. The center play, <laughs> well, it's a little simpler, like checkers. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You know, Shea Gilgis-Alexander has been exceptional here tonight, guys. And the way he goes at defenders, he is bound to get to the line just like he did there in that first half. Yeah, almost inviting contact, that attack mentality on full display. Here's who Mark Dagnall is going to put out there to start the second half. They've got Josh Giddy. Also, Shane Kildish Alexander out there. Shane is out there with Holmgren. And it's Pokushevsky in at the four. Yeah, you could see that RJ had seen him open earlier and then got in the right spot to deliver. The Knicks have made four free throws from the line and missed two. Oklahoma City leading by 10. Giddy the pass to Pokrasevsky. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Gilgis Alexander does a good job of just staying aggressive, and that just forces the defense to do something. This will be his fifth trip to the free throw line. And, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. New York shooting 39% from the floor at their best. Passes to Randall. Right side Robinson. Fires from 14. And again, it's New York. Robinson stretching his limits on that play from the mid-range. But Thunder shooting well. They're at 45%. Giddy the pass to Pokrasevsky. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Not a lot of room. Pass to Pakusevsky. No good on the three. 
I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing. Oh! oh. Well, Randall, when he has the ball in his hands, aware that there might be an open teammate. That time he found him. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 23. Jang dishes to Holmgren. Pocket six. Here's the pass to Pakusevsky over Randall. Oh, yes, the turnaround. Pakusevsky's got five. And this is good for Poku, being able to take contact and still get the job done. Here's Barrett. Outside for Randall. Robinson sets a screen for Randall. He's off from 17 feet. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Here's Giddy. He can't get that one. Randall with some nice D. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. Here's Olsen, and that one is stuffed right through. And Kevin, even though they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular, and he did. Well, maybe this is the best time to do it. Akusevsky, the pass to Holmgren. On the wing, Giddy. Pass to Pakusevsky. No good with the triple. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And about Pokushevsky, what a nice addition he's been, Brent, to the roster for Oklahoma City. He adds some nice size to the roster, and by that I mean kind of just height. He is a pretty uh, skinny player out there, but he's a good scorer. He can handle the ball. He's got some skills as a big guy. It's about calming down a little bit and finding some more consistency. Oh, that oh. was huge! Incredible. And guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yeah. that's for sure. And Zhang gets to Gilgis Alexander. 14 feet away. It's rebounded by New York. Robinson's got four rebounds in this game. And here's Barrett. He's got eight. Robinson a screen on Chang. Barrett. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on Holmgren. R.J. Barrett continuing to find consistency by not settling for things that come his way. He's got to stay within the confines of what they want to do offensively. So his game is growing. Obi Toppin's checked in for New York. Evan Fournier comes in for Rain Man. Kenrich Williams. He's checked in for the Thunder. Oklahoma City leading by four. He'll just have Alexander deciding where to go with it. Four on the shot clock. To end the drought. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. This shot's just, it's not there right now with his team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. And it falls over the rim and in. Well, they're getting stops, and they're attacking on the offensive end. Yeah, coaching staff probably loves this, just grinding out defensive possessions, which is helping them get back into their offensive flow. Williams dishes to Holmgren. The kick out to Williams. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. And here's Gilgis Alexander outside. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. Here it finds Brunson. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Yeah, way to play an attack bow and get to the line. The Knicks have gone 7 of 9 from the free throw line tonight. First free throw is good. So for the Knicks, Hartenstein comes in for Randall. And it's Rose in for Fournier. The Thunder also changing it up. Robinson Earls checked in for Holmgren. Baisley comes in for Jane. And it's Williams in for Gilgis Alexander. Thunder shooting around 40% from the floor here. 
Now Giddy. He's been playing a big part of their offensive scheme, averaging around 15 and a half points a game. They need this one. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for New York. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. That puts them in the lead. Barrett's got the lead up to three now for New York. Uh, defensively, they've been flat in this second half. A very different type of team than we saw in the first. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Julius Randles checked in for Hartenstein. Let's check out the leaders in field goal percentage as a team. Number one, the Knicks. Are just tremendously disciplined offensively, always looking for the best possible shot. That's how they've gotten that field goal percentage to skyrocket. Robinson Earl, the pass to Giddy. Outside, Williams takes the three. Knicks with the rebound. Toppin's got six rebounds here tonight. There at the pass to Randall. Uses the glass to finish the way. Now it's a five-point New York lead. And, and after a first half in which their offense shot under 40%, they've got the lead, and they should count themselves to be lucky. And Williams, here we go. Passes it to Williams. Five to shoot. And they get it. The shot by Williams, no good. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. Pass to Baisley. Sinks the three-pointer. Baisley's got five. Good to see Baisley step up and knock down the three ball. Randall a screen on Giddy. Rose passes to Toppin. Here's Randall, and that one off the back of the rim and in. Six points for him. Just a little bit off in the first, but he's been anything but that here in the second quarter. Really impressive to see him turn it around like that. Williams against Brunson. The pass to Giddy. That three off the mark. The Knicks leading by four. We've got 113 left to play here in the third. Here's Rose with the drive. Softly drops in the floor. Rose has got his second basket. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over for the Knicks. Robinson's checked in for Choppin. And Rainman subbed in for Rose. Giddy kicks to Williams. There's the pick. Over Brunson. A shot by Williams, no good. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. 32 seconds left here in the third quarter. Pass to Olsen. Shoots the three. It's rebounded by Robinson Earl. Robinson Earl's got four rebounds in this game. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. Shot clock at five. Here's Giddy. He can't hit that time. And we've reached the end of the third. Next lead by six. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments at the start of our fourth quarter. Coming up next. And now we take a listen into the recent huddle from Tom Thibodeau. One shot that when we make a miss, run, and run through so we get some spacing. 
take the game. You know, guys, we hear a lot of coaches preach all this. Tom Thibodeau wanting defensive rebounding and then faster pace on offense. Yeah, and that shows you he knows the pulse of his team. He, he knows that they're not quite energized. Their play rises to a whole nother level when they are. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Randall and Robinson will be the inside pair. Jalen Brunson out there with Rain Man, and it's Barrett at the three spot. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Shang, the pass to Baisley. Robinson with the block, and they'll keep possession. Here's Brunson, and he can't extend the lead to double digits. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for that. Chang against Robinson. Here's Pokusevsky, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And Poku really gliding out there as he got himself into great position. This is a duel. That falls. Nice speed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got his fifth assist in this one. And they're trailing by 10. Pass to Pakusevsky. Chang against Barrett. Pakusevsky tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Randall finds Brunson. Throws it up high. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. They get a bet. It'll go, and the Nick lead is cut down now to just 10 on the basket from Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander with so many tools. He does a great job of using his athleticism, getting a second chance, and keeping that play alive. Here's Olsen. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Rain Man's got the lead up to 12 now for the Knicks. And they're scoring much more efficiently here in the second half. And they've gotten that field goal percentage above 50. Now the pass to Chang. Got it. Good job in the low post. And so it's New York with it. Olsen shoots over Gilgis Alexander and too long on the shot and Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City pass to Baisley to the middle it'll go and the New York lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from Zhang well, that screen wasn't quite as effective as it could be. However, they find a way to get it done. Credit the shooter for overcoming that aggressive defense. A different look for Oklahoma City. Holmgren comes in for base. And Josh Giddey's subbed in for Kenrich Williams. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, let's summarize what Tom Thibodeau went over with his guys during the break. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go. You guys. Thank you, David. Such a versatile player as a combo guard and with that great size, it can allow him to set up teammates. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. New York leading by 10. Olsen passes to Brunson. Outside Robinson. Pass to Rain Man. And again, New York with the triple. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. And there's the pass to Chang. Back to Gildas Alexander. Five on the clock. Here's Giddy. No good on the triple. New York's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. Back to Randall. Robinson on the wing. Pass to On the top of the key. Rebound by Chang. Chang's got four rebounds now tonight. Passes it to Pakusevsky. Pass 
pitch to Holmgren. It's over Brunson and all around the rim that time before dropping in. Guys, this is what you call a generational talent. Holmgren is bound to fill up the highlight reel every night he plays. Out a piece of it, and he's able to get it back. Here's Olsen, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. He doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for New York. And they're playing beautiful basketball right now, racking up the assists by playing so unselfishly, just finding the open man. And down in the low post, they've had some success as well, winning a lot of points off of that physical ground and pound game. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession. And a look now at the Thunder's upcoming schedule. On Monday, they'll be matching up with Al Horford and the Boston Celtics. And then on Wednesday, they'll go up against Chris Depps, Porzingis, and the Washington Wizards. And if I'm this team, I'm looking at this as a barometer to see how we stack up against some of the top teams in the league. They'll have to be at their best. But if they come out of this with some success, I think it'll build momentum for the rest of the run. And Giddy hard to corral at his size. The pass duels. Bobbed up there for Robinson. Hammers the alley through. A timing play, but it helps to have a leaper like Mitchell Robinson finish it off. And we're trailing by 14. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. It's tipped. And here we go. Brunson heading to the hoop. Rips down the breakaway slam. Yeah, letting it rip. We're just having fun right now. Yeah, some of these nights you got to enjoy yourself. Not too much at the expense of the other team, but right now this team is balling. Chang against Barrett. And Chang gets to Gilgis Alexander. Just three to shoot. Nice form on the 20-footer. Gilgis Alexander's got four points in the quarter. Just don't see guys with... Gilgis Alexander's size and frame all that often. He can be a special player in this league. Here's Olsen. That falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. And that's now 38 points for Rain Man. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. You look at Rain Man. What a contribution. Not sure what the defense is thinking or if they are. They continue to let him shoot. That is bad defense. New York on D. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And that is just a deflating error on his part. Yeah, he knows he shouldn't have made it, and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him. Brunson finds Randall. Wants to get it to Robinson and us. Give them credit. They've worked hard all game now looking to finish it. No, oh, great job of getting in position to win a game. It's been an all-out effort from the squad. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. And that seven-foot frame of Holmgren makes him so difficult to guard. First team foul. Chet Holmgren at the line. Free throw drops for Holmgren. And good on the second, so he makes them both. 141 left in the fourth. The Knicks leading by 17. Here's Brunson diving in. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. Martin Stein's checked in for the Knicks. Reddish comes in for Barrett. And a new group in here for the Thunder. Robinson Earls checked in for Holmgren. Baisley comes in for Pokushevsky. Williams, he's checked in for Jang, and it's Williams in for Josh Giddy. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big-time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win 
for the Knicks. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. Can you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game? Yeah, there was a sense of that in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And they took charge when it counted and will be notching their ninth win overall. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Rain Man. It looked like a couple times they might be wearing him down, but not the case. At the offensive end, he was just devastating. Inside, Rain Man with the bucket. Rain Man's got 40 points. Making every effort to put this game on ice. We love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Here's Basley, guarded by Robinson. Just five on the clock. Here's Williams, and good. You got the English that time as it falls. Robinson with it. So no problem for New York as they get the win. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And the Jets now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Derek, congrats on the win tonight. What do you think was the ultimate factor? Just playing defense, our defense started to tell offense, and it worked out for us tonight. We definitely don't want to be in that situation, but we just fall our way back into the game. Yeah, you hung in there and were able to come back and overcome the deficit. Thanks, Derek. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Rain Man.